Welcome to Not So New News. Come along with us as we continue to discover an Appalachian time gone by. Today's article comes from the town of Whitesburg in Letcher County, Kentucky's newspaper, The Mountain Eagle. Volume 5, Number 4, Industrial Edition, Second Section, dated June 6, 1912. Page 7 is unnamed and continued in today's reading. Popular Physician, Dr. G. D. Eisen. At last, railroad track is laid in Letcher, and the scream of the monster engine is heard in the land. Hooray! If the reports are correct, the track has been laid to the Alex Ison place on Elkhorn, two miles below Jenkins, and the work train reached that place on Friday. It is scheduled to reach Jenkins in the next few days. Ever since Adam and Eve played under the shade of the trees in the Garden of Eden, Letcher County has been without a railroad. We have longed and looked and looked and longed for one so that we could go somewhere and be somebody, and now it looks like a few of our hopes are soon to be realized. Some of these days the Eagle is going to come out and take the credit for having been one of the leading causes of the railroads being built in our section. Now, laugh if you want to, but it'll do you but little good. Won't Hazard put on airs? Sometime next Sunday, June 15th, if we are correctly informed, the L&E work train will come through the big tunnel and scream into Hazard. For months, this little sister county seat has been buying new clothes and sweeping back her yards and pompadouring her hair, getting ready to welcome the swift runner into her limits. Why not let Wattsburg put on a little pride too? The next rush of steel laying will be on toward our town and up into the big coal fields above us. Mossfield Coal Company hustling to get ready for shipping when the railroad comes. A five-foot vein of coal has already been dressed and opened up on Bob Day Place. Other veins equally as good or better are yet to be opened and dressed. Right on the new L&E Railway, one and a half miles below Whitesburg, Night of the Grip, Billy Vermillion. Popular Official, Squire Colbert Stamper. This concludes today's reading of page 7 of the June 6, 1912 Mountain Eagle. We at Kentucky Tennessee Living would like to thank you for your continued support as we bring to you the history of the Appalachian Mountains.